Hey, hey, how are you doing? <clears throat> hey, I'm doing pretty well. Let Good me just morning. get my... <clears throat> Good morning, indeed. Oh, wait a second. I need to adjust my volume here a little bit. It's... It's great you you won your warm up game just a moment. <laughs> it, it's good for your moral and a little bit for the rating, <laughs> I think. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, you didn't have to fight the call on the bottom side. Well, I I think you could win easily just uh, keeping the top right, and you you could win the semi. And then when you were fighting the call, you had to answer his call threat. When he played that Atari and he tried to save the top right corner. You could just answer mm -hmm. and continue with the co fight. The bottom co was smaller than the top right corner, but he was a nice guy. First, he gave you like half of the group on the bottom, and then he gave you back the corner. Impressive. Yeah. And the way you came out, <laughs> top left. So my idea for for today would be something like this: uh, you start a game against somebody here, or maybe we okay. probably have time for two games if they play like this quite fast and then they resign. And I'm not trying mm -hmm. to to tell you the moves but every time you want to play something you should come up with like two or three candidate Someone moves and i try to guide you in the way to find the right move or well the idea is not to play too fast because i notice most right. of the time the uh the tendency is to to play like reflex uh, moves and then it it yeah. just starts to be a mess all over the board and sure. may maybe you can find somebody to to play a free game so if we win, they, it won't affect their rating. But if it doesn't, yeah. ju just play like 20 minutes each. And if you like, you can resign the game at the end so they they don't feel like it's cheating in a way or something. Yeah, yeah, or I you think can that, that would be fair. Yeah, when, you, when you match them. If you don't go for an auto-match, I guess. Oh, I, I just auto-match somebody. Oh, okay. Um... Usually the basic time is something like 20 minutes on this server. Yeah, yeah, it's 20 minutes and then 3 times 30 for Biyomi. Anyway, in this game, you did pretty well to, to kill the top right corner in the first place. And then you just have to calm down and don't do anything special. And you win. <laughs> and then on the bottom, normally in that kind of fight, when you have this race, uh, a semi or capture race, you just have to make an eye. But you didn't have to go down because uh, you had a problem with the liberties when he captured the coin in the middle. Probably you felt, okay, you will make the eye anyway, and you play Atari, and then you realize you put yourself in Atari, and it was too late. Hmm. You, you could you could just cut him at M2, uh, sorry, it's M18 here, and then no B, and it was like a, 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 a dammit smile, a shortage of liberties. So anyway, let's quit this room. Go for <laughs> an auto match and start a fresh new game. Normally, you you, yeah, you got to spend a little more time in the beginning. You don't have to. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you don't have to throw the stones on the board, like randomly, and then try to make them connect somehow. You got to have an idea, like always, where to find the bigger points on the board. And uh, hmm, how hard is to find an opponent here? There are like usually I don't know ten thousand people on this, this server, maybe eight thousand. Yeah, I thought. I thought I had one, but he wanted to bet, and I didn't oh, okay. really want to do anything like that. I, did, I so. didn't even know you can bet when you're at 10 Q. No? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. I, th I thought on these servers you're allowed to, to bet only when you, you have a higher rank on your own games. Well, when you're watching other people's game, you probably bet no matter what. P yeah, Asians like gambling a lot, so... <laughs> I only played a few games on this server, or maybe, well, less than 100, so I'm not extremely familiar with it but i guess in in the thank you area you feel quite quite comfortable right you also didn't play to yeah yeah this is this is fine for me uh-huh <clears throat> uh yeah we'll request that if it's 20 minutes each it's already pretty comfortable so like this we have more time to discuss the moves before you you play them at least in the first part and then when you enter bioyomi you know already what to do or the game it's already fixed They still don't want to play. Please read. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to set this up. It says, "Please redo the game rules." Oh, I don't quite understand. that happens when the guy is leaving the room, so you're probably alone in that room. So you gotta, yeah, see, you gotta just exit and start over the process of matching. That's what I get for being a foxy noob. <laughs> <laughs> Try it one more time for auto match.
Do you, do you prefer to play black or white more? Or it doesn't matter? Uh, my preference is usually black is my preference. Because mm -hmm. you have Sente in the beginning and you don't care about the Komi. Yeah, yeah. White's okay. Mm -hmm. I actually I seem to do better as white, to be honest, though. Well, it doesn't really matter so much. You got to be able to mm -hmm. play both colors without caring about having or giving the Komi. But mo most of the time in tournaments, for example, recently... Uh, you can play with six or seven and a half Komi even. And then it feels okay. more comfortable to have seven and a half points in pocket already from the beginning of the game. So there oh, are lots yeah, of players yeah. who prefer white for this reason. I'm not really sure if I pre prefer white or black. Well, I play white more because I play more teaching games as white, but I, I really don't care. I mean, in tournaments, usually you play like 50% uh, of the games as black and 50% as white when they uh, uh, set up the colors before the round, so okay. you got to be able to play both colors. But <clears throat> in general, when you play black and you want to overcome that six and a half or seven and a half Komi, uh, you, you need to play a little more aggressive, so a, a little more active, like you try to space out or spread the stones on the board much faster than when you play as white. And when you play white, you just play uh, much more patient and wait for that Komi to materialize later in the game. That's like a general idea. Start to play. But playing fast doesn't mean to overplay or to uh, jump all over the board without uh, playing solid sure. in certain areas. Oh, you started? Yep. Yep. It's a free game, but you wanted to bet, so I guess whatever. No, it's, fine. it's a it's free fine. game. <laughs> okay, I put the coordinates. So... I'm watching you as Kino11. That's my daughter's account. So your opponent uh -huh. doesn't really know something fishy is going on. And I usually, as black, start off with a 3-4. That's right. It's polite to play in the top right corner. And that Komoku facing the outside is very good. So, then... how about... Uh, yeah, tell me some. Two or I three usually... moves. Yeah, I usually do a 3-4 facing, do a Shusuku. Sometimes I do um, orthodox, but... Yeah, this is fine. I kind of start influential. Um, since it looks like he's doing kind of a Chinese, I usually just take in an enclosure first. Yeah, that's a very calm so opening. You don't, ha you don't have to rush. For... You have 20 minutes uh, till Biomi, so let's look at the options a little bit. Well, when you don't have too many options like here, you can play it. Yeah. That's pretty much the only move. But now you already have some uh, options to consider next. Yeah. Um, I can either double Hane to avoid Avalanche. You mean double Hane on the second line? Under? Yeah, like yeah. Like 018? Okay, that's an option. And yep. you have you or have I several can... Avalanche variations, like Hane directly exactly. at B14, or simply no B Q14, mm -hmm. or you can avoid the Avalanche by playing uh, P18 or Q17. So here you already have like five options. Yep. You can yep. choose whichever makes you more comfortable. I'll take the large avalanche, I guess. Well, here recently, they don't play uh, a very complicated uh, Joseki. This is what they like. Atari, connect, and then either defend N16 or extend around J17 or J16. But that gives sense. Oh, so it's good. Yeah, he atari the wrong way. Weird. No, no, it's it's quite modern. Pros play it a lot. Too. Okay. Well, this is the kind is it just of... Yeah, you... this is just to keep it simple. So now, right. now you're sent Wow, you play too quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, instead of this move, which is quite okay for the right side, if you look all over the board, you could play on yeah. the bottom, like uh, I-17. You could attack the top left corner, or you could attack his uh, lower left corner, either from F-17 right. or C-14. You don't have to play all your moves on one side or try not to be focused too much on one side. you got to look gotcha. all over the place. Yeah, and since I had Sente in my bottom right group is totally settled. Wow, that, then... that's a modern move. So before you react to this, he was supposed <laughs> he was supposed to play something like J17 to make an ideal uh, base or formation configuration on the bottom okay. side. Well, he played uh -huh. he, he played on the right because he's thinking you're going to build too much and he feels like uh, he has to jump in. And now again, you have like mm -hmm. two or three options to react to this move. And the plan should be to try to take center, so then you can do something on the bottom or on the left side. Those are the important two sides right now. Right, so I'm thinking of Haneing on top 
You mean uh, P5? Uh, huh? Okay, yeah, yeah. before you play the move, let's see what happens. You play P5, he will know BQ6, then you probably mm -hmm. go down, which means Sagari descended R4, he will turn, mm -hmm. then you extend, he extends, then you probably play something like R10, and if he blocks again, you take Sente, and you can play somewhere else. It's not too bad. You take a big corner and try to attack this group a little bit. But we can try okay. something a little more aggressive than that. So another option would be, probably you don't know it, but you, you can try clamp? to guess. Uh, not the clamp, Q, Q7, pincer. Try this one because yeah. he will struggle a little more to, to fix that uh, that single gotcha. song. And at least now... Yeah, let's try that. No, not P7, Q7. It has to be on the third line, but it's okay. The thing is... You, you, oh, my... Yeah. Oh, you don't my uh, my song? coordinates, my coordinates are different than yours are. Hold on, let oh, me really? fix that. <clears throat> Let's but you, do you check that. the coordinates on the server. Yeah, I, I just on put that them up. A one button. Yeah. All right. Got it. Anyway, the the idea is that you had this stone at P eleven, which you played instantly earlier. So with that pincer at P seven mm -hmm. or Q seven, you kind of make it uh, work together with the top right corner. So. Now, again, you have like two or three options. Okay. So, my instinct is just to Nobi. Um, uh, just a sec. Because I, I don't think cross-cutting is really going to work. Cross-cut is not a good idea. Hane yeah. P5, it's interesting. And if you Nobi, he's going to play P5, and then you can peep R6. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. I, I would choose Q3 or Hane P, P5, but P, Q3 looks the the most solid or the most natural way. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to go for more, so, you can play P5, and then he's going to play Atari, you connect, he will do a hanging connection, and then he lives in the corner, and you take a, a little outside influence. But when you play Q3 and he goes out, then you keep attacking the group. I was like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try the honey on top. Let's Excuse me just a second. You need to connect here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. So, uh wait a second. <clears throat> Okay, so now you have Sente. You got the wall. Yep. Mm, maybe it was better to play Q3. But it's alright. He's okay. a thank you. We we got to let him feel good about the game. Otherwise, he resigns too quick. <laughs> so now he never played anything on the bottom. And mm -hmm. you can think about several moves here to invade the bottom side. Which right. one comes to mind first? Uh, I3. I3 is good. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because it creates Miai. You can jump two space to the left and two space to the right to fix a base. Mm -hmm. He attacked from the wrong side here. Very good. And now his group, which looked really strong earlier, it's now so-so. Yep. What's the first feeling? Um, my first feeling is, is L2, or L18, excuse uh, me. L, yeah, I also felt it's L2, but it's L18 on this board. They're upside down. Uh, you you yeah. can push first on top at M18. Because if you just block L18 and he goes up M17, he will uh, fix eye shape very easy. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, so this puts, puts more pressure on that group, yeah. Hmm. Just a... so I kind of expect my opponent to to extend to N two now, or to, or yeah, yeah he there had we to go. Pull back. That's... So now you don't really have to turn at uh, L eighteen. You should jump out with your group and also put pressure in the same time. So maybe at like L fifteen, or should I jump out with the one stone? Yeah, L fifteen is good. Uh, yeah, that's the one speed jump, right? Yeah, yeah. Because if he, if he pushes here L18 and you block and he cuts the leather, it's okay. 
and he still needs some some eye shade for for this group. Mm -hmm. So later it's much easier for you to fight in the middle when you have these stones attacking his groups from early the early stages. Right. It's fine to block now to to keep some pressure on the group. So at like K eighteen, right? Yeah. Let, let me see what yeah. happened in the top right. Yeah, that sequence in the top right was pretty much forced. I was wondering if, if you could play Q5 before connecting, but we, we can look at this after the game. Oh, that's sure. a pretty good move. My instinct is to extend up at I-16. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting idea to resist. But if he cuts, then you have to play K-16. And if he connects, you got to play Atari from J-15. And then he'll uh, okay. he'll go down and take the stone. So in this case, it's probably better just to connect K-17. Oh, okay. You stay connected. He has to connect his stone at I-16. But he still has a problem with the group. I see. Now you need to think about the vital point that surrounds his right group and puts a lot of pressure. This guy plays pretty well for the thank you, but I see he has like 1,000 games. <laughs> Maybe yeah. he has a six down watching him too. <laughs> I mean, I can either do 019 or I can mm -hmm. strengthen my group on the right and play Q18. That that group on but the right side, that group on the right side is pretty strong, and yeah, your, yeah. your bottom group, this uh, L15, needs some help. So, so you, you should think maybe about maybe N15. Yeah, surround surrounding him. But how how about wait a second? If you hane hane Atari, if if you just play N15, he will push. Then you gotta block. Mm -hmm. Then he pushes again. Then you gotta block. Then he cuts. Hmm. It becomes interesting, but yeah, that's the vital point. It's okay, actually, because okay. you have the Han at age 16, and then you can Atari and take two stones. Yeah, and 15 is good. But you also need right. to read a few moves ahead, especially when the stone starts to to touch each other or collide. Block him, so you keep the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Not much to think about here. Yeah, go down, it's fine. So far, he doesn't have uh two eyes and even if he makes two eyes and you surround the group those are like four or five points so it's quite painful for white yep. then again you have to look all over the board and check where are the most uh, open areas to play i've seen uh, some of uh, your games on uh, igs the other week and oh dear. You, you went you went up a little bit for a while. You moved to nine Q plus. It was yep. pretty good. And I and then you fell back. I up. fell back down though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What to do? Here? I had I had a series of some pretty pretty some, pretty bad games. Downs, I was just playing too fast. Yeah. So you gotta try to kill this right group because he never answered. Mm -hmm. So what was the most elegant is... move to to surround him first of all? What what's your first instinct here? Sorry. Uh yeah, it's P14. P P P14. Well, you can you, you can turn. play O14, but if you play O14, he will go O19, right? How how about how about uh, you start yeah. you start from N17? And oh, just the push in. Yeah, okay. Because that that move will force his eye, and if he tries to come out, it also takes away his liberties, which is good. No, right. Normally you want to surround the group and then make sure you squeeze him well enough to to be able to uh, push him down to like one eye. So here there are mm -hmm. not too many options. You just have to connect. Huh? Yep. And now he's trying to, probably he's thinking to sacrifice. Okay, we still have 10 minutes to bear me. Let's see what are the moves you consider. He's already pretty dead, but you need to kill it in a solid way, so you don't leave RG. Make yeah, it the... good RG. Mm 
Mm. Well, if he wants to escape, he has to play a move like uh, p14, and then you got a hane, and then he turns. Yeah. So maybe it's good for you to play either p14 to cover, or you could just push n14, and when he tries to go out, then he'll end up in a snapback. Mm-hmm. But this is the, the best way, because you also took away a liberty, so you don't have to worry much. Now what? Now it's a liberty race? Not really. Oh, because, right, right, right. Yeah, with that move, you're threatening, you're threatening snapback, right? Besides, you, you could push first, L14, and then use this move, or even cut one way or the other. But now you're okay. You kill him in center. So this group died. He got a little wall, but you have initiative, so you don't have to play anything there. You don't need to play O15, because when he plays O15, he puts himself in Atari. So you can just leave it like gotcha. this. And... Let's look all over the board. Where are the big points? Probably approaching the upper left is really big. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm thinking of approaching it. High or low? It can be D5 uh, pro- or C5, or it can be a far approach like C6 or D6. Yeah, probably either one space high, or I was yeah. actually thinking... It's yeah. fine. D- it's probably, D5 is the, probably the, the most best. common uh, Kakari move. Mm, he plays instantly. Usually yeah, he here, doesn't... you just have like one or two options. Yep. Let's play the most common way. That's the attach, right? Uh, C3, yeah. Sun, sun. Yeah. Because you just want to fix a base and uh, develop the, the left side before he does. So I'm worried about being able to use my wall on the right side. You'll have time for it. Okay. Because now he played this move instead of the hanging connection. So later you come mm-hmm. all the way to like H3, threatening to cut. But right now you need to extend for a base. And that should be C8 or C9. In this case, it's better to play C8. Because he's quite strong on the left side, so you don't want him to approach in center. Gotcha. And now if he doesn't do anything in the top, you can approach and... Uh, we'll see how that Aji works. Yeah, around H3, right? Yeah, H3, because H3 prepares uh, an attach at E3, and then you cut, and you connect, and Mm -hmm. he's in trouble. Usually, every move you play on the board has to have a follow-up. Okay, his move here, he's thinking to attack your group a little bit, and he's also Mm -hmm. going for a nice moy on the left side and in the middle. But I think now it's it's a good timing to to test him with H3. Yeah. Because you're going to build something using the wall on the right and also stress that cutting point. Sure. Mm, he was prepared. <laughs> so I just no B, right? No B's You the go best. up to the center, yeah. H4. Yeah. Very good. He'll probably jump between your groups. Mm-hmm. F6. Whoa. <laughs> mm, he doesn't like your moyo. So <laughs> no, he doesn't. what to do? Um, I mean, I could kind of defend with a move like <clears throat> K4. K4, and then he will push and so on. That, yeah. That's possible, but... Or I can yeah. do something really on a grand scale by just jumping out one space. Se- separate, it's interesting. Yeah, either jump out one space or attach F5. You can go for the jump. Play, play your ideas. Yeah. When they are good, we, we leave the, those moves on the board. It is nice to separate your opponent's stones. And when you have this kind of thickness, you want to push his weak uh, stones or weak groups towards the thickness. Okay, now that's mm-hmm. uh, like an overplay. <laughs> Clearly an overplay, actually. So in this case, what to do and why? Well, I want to I wanna disconnect those two stones from each other. And That's maybe idea. add add some defense. So maybe my mm-hmm. other move from before, like K four, still works. I think, you could, or even K three is good enough because you're on the third line. You fix a base for your own uh, stones, and he's still floating. He doesn't have a base anymore. If you play K four, okay. he can push through and cut, and it's difficult to fight. But when you play K three, you're pretty much connected to those two stones on the lower left. Uh, I mean, in the middle left. So. Now he's simply running. Uh, he's going to attack me first. Yeah, but it's a simple option to connect. 
Yeah. Just oh no no you you should hunt under on the second. <laughs> Sorry. Line. Okay, so now you keep him separated. You you could just hunt on the second line, and then when he plays on top. All right now. Those are some chains of stones running. So what what was the plan here? Next move. Uh, my next move, I was thinking um, attach to the top of his single stone. Okay. Or you, you um, play a M diagonal M4, move. right? Yeah, yeah. Before you do that, if you play M4, he will probably be tempted to go N3 and Hane and connect on, under to the top right. So you, you should sure. play a clamp, uh, the Sujet Q2. He will block your Atari, he connects, and then you do the attach. And if he tries to connect, he cannot anymore. Oh, okay. So, prepare a little bit. And Atari will be center. So, he connects and then you don't have to do anything there. Like this, you prevent that connection underneath. And now you can go sure. M4 and you're fine. Got it. Cool, good. So, finally, a, a nice sequence. <laughs> Without <laughs> dying or something. Okay, that can be a little tricky. Um, my instinct is to Hane, mm -hmm. and then after he connects, extend. Yeah, but the problem is, uh, Johanne L2, he will connect uh, mm -hmm. either J2 or hanging connection, and then he can cut you. And then you go right. under, he goes Atari, and so on. So let's find uh, another way. Uh, can you do something against the top left corner still? Like going down H2? Oh, otherwise, you, you yeah, gotta play can... an ugly move. You have to play L3 and then capture the stone. Right. That would work. I could potentially play F2 as well, because that threatens the cut the other direction. If you F2 and he blocks an Atari and you connect, he still has this I2 in center. So right, maybe right. you should just accept the empty triangle L3, let him push, then you take the stone, and when he tries to connect, you go down, and after you go down, you can jump F2 instead of Oh, okay, you're saying F2, not G2. But yeah, you, you cannot block L2. You gotta play L3. Okay. It's ugly, but it works in this case, so... Yeah, for sure. Empty triangles sometimes, or most of the times, are moves you don't want to play. But now you just cut and capture that stone. So he still doesn't have a base. And he'll try to connect to the top by playing I2, and when you separate, he just hurts himself in the top left, so... Because he's still on the run with this group, see? Now you simply disconnect him. Okay. So H2. Just G2. It's H2, I think. Er, yeah. Go down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're asking, was this your idea to play on Foxy? Yes, it absolutely was. Yeah, it's, uh, um, it's quite a dynamic server. Many people are playing here. It's going <laughs> fast, so yep. why not? Yep, yep. And now just disconnect, right? Uh, play on the first line, uh, Hane G1. So you disconnect, but you're also active to to damage Got more it. the corner. Not just going down in Gote. Like this, he will Atari, you connect, okay. and he needs to connect again. Otherwise, you Atari, Atari, and you take that stone. Mm -hmm. So he's supposed to play E2, which means you separate him in center. Okay, this Atari, you probably have to connect. I mean, take the stone, right? So he still has this group under attack in the inside your moyo, and he has a problem in the mm -hmm. top left corner. So let's stop for a second. He didn't he didn't sure. answer to your top left corner uh, sequence where you play G1 and connect. So you gotta punish him there. Mm -hmm. Just cut that stone first, because okay. you become a stronger here, and then you can come back to the target in the top, which is probably just game at J7. So you push him towards your top right wall. And that's how the territory comes later in the game, using your thickness by attacking groups. And he just lose, loses ground everywhere. Okay. Here maybe he will block and then you take the stone. Mm -hmm. Excuse me a second. Sure. All right, I'm back. So that was Sente, and he's still not alive in the top left. 
Can sure. you play more moves to to attack him here? Let's see. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's good to surround your opponents in general. So, I mean, I can cap on top. Yeah, you can just... just cap like that, and then he'll be forced to play another move. I was looking a little bit if it was to play e4 and then block, and then he honey, and then you cut. Maybe maybe you shouldn't take any action in the top left right now and start attacking the other group a little bit to become much yeah. stronger with your age 6 and the way to attack is to push him from the left to the right because on the right you're very strong so you're attacking from the weak uh, group the weak side to strengthen it while pushing okay. his weak group towards your thick wall yeah I'm thinking J7 probably it's kind of one space higher than his group which one? J J J7 yeah, Okay, my cap, it's excellent. Yep. So now his only way to go out would be like K7. But he's still under a lot of pressure. And actually in the top, he doesn't even have one eye. If he tries to make an eye by right. playing I1, you hunt it from the right side, L1. And then when he blocks, you can throw in. And when he takes, you farce his eye at I3. And now his only option is to run into the center somehow, but it's still very difficult. Mm -hmm. So if you play very carefully in this area, this can be a winner, this kind of uh, attack. Well, you already won the game after killing the lower right corner, but these guys, they don't give up so uh, so so quickly. <laughs> and, and they shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, because we're, we're all 10 keys, we all make mistakes, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> people don't, don't really resign in in the high dance section either i remember mm -hmm. some kind of saying like korean players never resign especially when they're ahead which <laughs> <laughs> may, makes sense <laughs> but th there are tournament games for example when you have like a pretty much hopeless position and you keep playing 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 and your opponent gets so angry that you don't resign that he finally makes a, a huge mistake and you come back so it's okay to, to I, fight back as much as you can. In my last tournament, that actually happened oh. to me. Um, it was my last game. It was the tiebreaker for first place in my division. Oh, and I was I was way ahead. Uh -huh. And then I made a, a terrible, Blunder, terrible huh? mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens to anybody. Yeah. So it's quite okay till you really feel like there's no more hope on the board. Mm-hmm. Even pros do that, actually. But sometimes they resign when they feel like they're two points behind and there's no way to, to come back. Even if they play 100 moves, you'll say, in a perfect uh, sequence. But, well. And probably these days, you know, most of the games played by pros in tournaments are played very quick, like 10 minutes each and 30, 40 seconds uh, five times to make it more interesting for uh, Baduk TV, for example. And... Mm -hmm. Then they play till the end, they kill each other all over the board, and they don't really uh, give up early. So right. Q's here, they do the same. Even if they are 300 points behind, they still hope they can come back somehow. For sure. This guy, mm, yeah. sure. <laughs> this guy is really reading deeply now. He... To be fair, we used we used tons of time, so... <laughs> yeah. He had he had um, to play this move without reading so much. Is the only option he really has to try to fix some ice. He has to try some contact plays. So yeah, my instinct is to just extend, right? You can honey Kate, more pressure. Oh okay. Most of the time, no beats okay, but in this position, honey it's fine. You're pretty strong to fight. Sure. So he'll either cross cut, all right. <laughs> What to do now? You gotta pay attention with cross cuts. Um, yeah, I think it's best now to play i7, extend yeah, pull back. the stone. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, when cross cut usually extend. And that's a strong move. And now it's much easier to fight in the top left if you if you start mm -hmm. from uh, e4 and hane, then when he tries to cut, it doesn't work anymore because this i7 protects you indirectly. But before you do that, you should still keep the pressure on this group on the right. So, which move next? 
uh, I kind of want to play K9. It yeah, doesn't, that's nice. It's not a contact play. It's but... good. Extend again. Yeah. Keeps me strong. Right. And he's still under pressure. Mm -hmm. So you play a few moves like a dumb player. I'm impressed. He <laughs> he played this move because you could play it center earlier, but he can only make one eye anyway. So before you try to kill this group on the right, which is actually doable right now, let's uh, attack him a little bit in the top left, starting from uh, E4. You gotta surround that group. He can leave, but he will leave with like two points. Okay. So you surround in center. He's happy he survives, and then you can uh, come back to the top right and give him the fatal blow. Oh, he wants to cut you here. All right, we can uh, let him cut the stones, but where to play next? Biomi comes, huh? Yeah, I would. My instinct is G5. Mm, connect solid E5, because then you go Atari. Oh, okay. If he cuts first, you Atari, and then you sacrifice some stones, so his four stones will die. He might connect to this. Probably he would connect anyway, but when you play F5, just a hanging connection, he Ataris, and then you need to connect. But now if he connects, right. you don't have to connect. And now uh -huh. and now you have time to Atari those three stones, I mean cut him, and the four stones will die. And mm -hmm. you can sacrifice the other two. So just Atari and go down. Yo Yomi now starts. I mean, so, SC. So Atari yeah. that way. Okay, you have 30 yeah. seconds, how many times? 10 times, oh, okay, that's good comfortable and push down again let him have two stones it's got eh? so he gave you four that's some profit and now you gotta come back to the top right how to kill that group he has only one eye in the top he cannot make an eye so you need to surround okay. him so he doesn't jump out yeah i want to play um n8 because it takes away Ma michael michael eight mouth. it's safer m8 Nine. Eight. oh yeah yeah that's what Seven. i if you n8 then he starts Five. pushing and he makes an eye that, that's yeah, that, sorry, I misread. Right. Yeah, good. yeah. Because it took away his tiger's mouth. Exactly, yeah. So now he'll try to make an eye in the top, but we already talked about the sequence to take away that eye, so he's not going to leave. He, <clears throat> he can probably try uh, J1. Oh, wait a second. I'm misreading here. He can go down L1 and leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you need another move there to kill him. Right, all right, we leave it like this. I had an illusion that he will play the other block and then you hunt a boom, boom. But now you have many Cotres there. So he's alive there, you got four stones in the top right by attacking everything. And now you should do something about the left side. How to enter the left side? Nine. Uh, eight, probably attaching seven, underneath six, at C sixteen. Yeah, that's very good. Four. He'll probably go for some outside influence with C fifteen. Mm -hmm. Now, usually, and just where? It's a uh, D three, right? Uh, no, it's B B fifteen. Hane on the second line. Oh, okay, okay. Because normally he has to connect D15, then you connect. Oh, he can play that way too. Uh, just connect. B16. Okay. But in this case, you could play... Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. So now I Atari. Uh, wait a second. Before you Atari, if you go down... You, you should cut him, D17. Let's see what he plays against D17. Okay. Because oh, I yeah, see, I if, see. He, if he plays some Atari, you double Atari. If he connects, you go out on the left side, and then you can drop down to D18 and kill the two corner stones. So now you can go uh, C14, just Hane. If you don't play that, he will capture it. So. Wait, C14. Got it. He owes a move in this lower left corner. Oh. You should... Uh, Go down once, Sagari to D. Yeah, yeah. Because like this, you get some more outside forcey moves. And then, what's the first instinct? 
Um, because you want to use these side oh these two stones. You're fine. You have twenty seconds and another ten times beyond me. So. Yeah, my instinct is C twelve. Just a just a small base. If you do that, he will and turn in center. So push push D fourteen first. Seven, six. Ah, uh, okay. It's not a bad move to play that small base, but with this move, you also reduce his influence because now, before you connect, you can just no B, E14. And if he cuts, you have uh, you capture him. So you play E14 center, then you come back. And now you connect. So your group is pretty strong. Then you can push once again F14. And like this, you reduce like all the potential in the bottom and middle for him. I see. See, and if he doesn't answer this, then you Hane, and you're threatening the cut uh, and capture. Yeah, now you can Hane uh, G G15. So he needs to pay attention and double up F15. And right. now you can um, simply go out either with Kema, G12, or attach and Nobi. So after that, you have a cutting point. I mean, attach being F12, and then Nobi G12. F12. That creates a cutting point, Nine, so you go out, eight, seven, ju just contact, six. because you have to go in the direction of your stones in the middle to, to connect your group. Oh, this is not the contact, right, but right. it's okay. The ladder is good. Right, right. It cuts, you have no problem. So in the corner, you can still lose, use those two stones to play Atari E15 and then to play inside at B18 and Atari under A17. But all those moves are your center and you can use them as cotrets. You don't have to do it right away. Well, here gotcha. you gotta pay attention a little bit because he has a cutting point in that area. But you still need to, to save your group. So go out with G10 attach. G... Just contact. Oh, yeah. okay. Got it. I feel this guy plays quite strong for a, for a thank you. But it can happen. You don't know who you play against here. Especially if they, they try betting games. <laughs> right, right. Maybe. And I'm sure he's probably thinking this guy seems fairly strong for a 10 Q as well. <laughs> I guess so too. Especially <laughs> if you look at his score, he has like 1,000 games. That's a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So he understands what's happening. Just extend. Don't cross so, cut, don't do anything. Go to the right. H10. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then he has to come back and connect. And you also have time to protect uh, against the RG in the top. So now he's trying to activate that RG somehow. What's a nice shape and proper defense here? Uh, my instinct is F6. F6. Uh, let's see. Okay, in that case, play E7. E... Nine, eight, oh, I see. Uh, yeah. It's like you're setting up a net, you know, if he cuts, he's already in a net. Mm -hmm. And those four stones, they don't go out. Right. Hmm. He's still looking to to hurt you in this area. Uh, pu push one time, F11. I want to see how he reacts to this. If he pulls back or what he plays. Wait, F11. Yeah, just once. Oh, okay, I see. It creates some RG with those cutting points, so why not? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so your group is safe in the top left. And now all you have to do is to, to keep connected in the middle. And then eventually you have to look at the K15 push and cut and make some more profit. Oh, he lets you cut. Good. Then cut him. Okay. I thought he won't resist here. But he's ambitious. And then diagonal? Yeah, yeah. connect those stones. Then he has a problem with the center group and he has a problem with the left side group. And he'll play the Hane and try to fight back, but not so easy. Okay, Atari here, you connect. Ooh, Atari here. Hmm, becomes interesting. So, let's see. Then he cuts, then no B. Then he'll probably die on the left side. Yeah, you have to connect. And go. Disconnect it. Yeah. Oh, you so, at G11? Oh, wait, wait a second, it's too dangerous. No, 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 you should pull back. Play G13. Yeah, that was my instinct. Yeah, and then, and then you block him and he has to connect, otherwise it's a call. It's fine, he still has no eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is safer. Fool, many things can happen badly in BIOMI. Yeah. 
uh, turn one time, like I yeah. eleven. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh ho! Just honey, J twelve. Because you have a core and then oh, you have okay. a cutting point. Don't play Atari. Atari is a bad moving go. Try to resist playing Atari. I know. It, I gotcha. know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I can cut this. Yeah, it'll be cut, fun. Cut, cut, but... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how he defends. Solid. All right. Okay. Now you can actually cut him if you want. Uh, which is I nine. nine, right? Then he has to come back to connect at f eleven or do something with those three stones. Mm-hmm. I think now you can kill everything on the left side actually. Yeah, it looks you like you have it. Kosumi. At B B nine, then he blocks. Then you simply push D thirteen. He blocks again. Then you show him Tesuji B twelve, and when he connects, you connect under, and he's down to one eye. That's the easy way to kill. But let's see what he's trying to do in the middle. Also, if he plays a move like H twelve, you can just connect, and when he comes out, you have a net at I fourteen. Okay, that's a good move. You gotta uh, drop down to J thirteen. Oh, okay. Simply no B, because then the cutting point works at uh, K11. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. He's really trying to hurt you here. <clears throat> so he has Atari. Wow, many interesting moves. Uh, block H13. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nine, that way. Eight, oh, you can even... You seven, know what? You you can six, play I-14. Yeah, four, try I-14. Nose the Suji. Two. And if he plays Atari and you, you go Atari, he connects, you cut him. If he goes down, you block. And then this moves enables the cutting point at K-15. Anyway, you can also take back the core. Then, you see, we never play those moves at E-15 and B-18 and so on. Those are good core threats. When you fight the coin okay. in the middle, so you can use them at the right moment. Right. But now you you should block first. Uh, H13. Right. Then he'll play Atari in the center. I12. Uh, and now you take the core first. And after he takes the core ah. back, you answer. So like this, he has to waste the cotret somewhere to to use the cotret, which is yeah, kind of a waste. So he'll probably play something to try to escape on the bottom. But he's going to collapse all over the left side, so... Yep, yep. You also have a... Okay, here you need to connect. F13. Mm -hmm. When he takes the core, you gotta connect. You don't give him that, uh, that group. So you have one eye. And you can cut him in the center. Or you can still fight the call. And I guess now he'll play something like L11. Anyway, this guy really pays attention to what happens on the whole board. Yeah, for That's sure. pretty good. It's not like just random and <laughs> guess the score at the end. Okay, that move is not so spectacular. You should just go down B8. I mean, it doesn't help him so much. I see. He's still in trouble. But he probably finally saw the, the I mean, he, he sensed the danger on the left side. Mm -hmm. A little bit too late. Mm -hmm. So if he contacts from more or less. Uh, you can take that coin in the center, F11. Because if you just kill those five stones, then you're fine, your group, it's all settled, and then mm -hmm. you can go for the kill on the left side too. You go step by step. So let's see what he tries in the middle. He, he, he is threatening to rescue his top group. Or no, but, that's already yeah, alive, never mind. It doesn't really matter, yeah. Hmm, 
you have some interesting code threads there. Just connecting L8 and it's a, it's a threat. Because if you play L8, you can uh, go M7 and either farce his eye. Oh, okay. Capture this stone R16. When you played S18 earlier, you could play R17 to save a code threat like this. So, But it's all right. Now, now play Atari E15. E E. On the left, those three stones. Oh, thanks for the follows, Rain91 and Pseudocalm. Wow, there's some action on uh, each, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, this guy is playing minus, but what can he do? Take those two. Now, you should use these codrets in the corner, like B18 and then another Atari. But first start from B18. Or actually, you could just Hane mm -hmm. if you like. Ah, yeah, you can play A17. Hane in the corner. Because anyway, he'll go C18, and then you also have B18. Because if he blocks, then you go uh, B18, he takes, and you attack again. So he, he needs to play. Okay, now you have more code threads. You can go down and whatever. Take the code. Yep. This uh, gives you more liberties when you go A18 and so on. Someone said, this is better than having Leela play the game out on parallel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Carpatian Leela. <laughs> it's like Sai watching Hikaru. O fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Then uh, A A17. A Just push. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the Transylvanian Sai. <laughs> <laughs> Capture. <laughs> Well, if this guy doesn't resign in like 15 minutes, you have to finish the game by yourself because I got to run to KGS. So let, let, let's okay. hope he will collapse till then. But you'll mm -hmm. manage anyway. It's pretty clear what happens on this board right now. It's only white dying yeah. everywhere. So <laughs> but you got to keep track of which group to take first. And that's pretty much the only thing to focus on. Well, I am an expert at losing a one game, so... Everybody knows that. <laughs> We've been on that road. Uh, J J9. It's much easier to lose a game, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The, the world would be full of 9 downs if we all win. Uh, yeah, that's a good threat. So you finish with these threats in the corner, but you had many. So that's something mm -hmm. to remember about not playing your uh, forcey moves too early in the game, because then how to fight the call. And now, this is a, a self-kill move, more or less. You you can... Uh, wow, you can... I can just connect, yeah, right? Yeah, you can play L8. No, 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 don't, don't connect the call. Play L8. Save those four stones. Otherwise, he pushes through. Oh, got Ooh, it. You almost yeah. lost it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I almost did. <laughs> and, well, you could also defend by playing... Ah, uh, but this is cute. Now you just push K K13. And then, ah. as, while, you, while you're fighting the uh, the core, you will kill some stones in the middle. Then that core is not even that important, because even if he connects, he's about to die with everything. Oh no, you, you should oh, no, play Atari. You should just play directly K13. Like this, you show him the oh, intention sorry, sorry. that you want to cut him and kill him there. I, I actually misread the coordinates. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> the, the idea is to, to push directly K13. So then uh -huh. when he blocks, you play Atari. But you can still do it now, it's fine. Luckily. All right. Uh, protect here is good. I mean, connect solid. I5, I6. Mm -hmm. So then push through at K13 and capture that group. You don't even have to worry about the core anymore. Because even if he connects, it's no big deal. Cut him here. Because after you fix your group on in the lower left by killing these stones in the center, you can just turn M7 and kill the other group. Because M7 now destroys his... Uh, uh, eyes. Ah, I see, yeah. Okay, now what's the vital point to capture him here? And it's an elegant move. You gotta look for beauty in the game. You're an artist, so... Right. Um, you... M12, M12 does it, yeah. right? That's the point.
You do the music, I do the killing here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I get excited when I see groups dying, so let's <laughs> don't we <yeah>. all <laughs> let's clean the board. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure he's aware he can die in the top right. But once you play, top. Uh, I mean, sorry, in the in the top middle, that uh, top group. Uh, once you play right. M7, uh. He, he needs to play M5 and then you go Atari K6 and he connects, you connect. And if you play M7 and he goes J6, you can throw in and then you force his eye with M5. But before then, just push through here, cut, divide and conquer. Then you gotta pull back uh, to N12, otherwise he goes Atari and Nets. Mm -hmm. Then he has to save these four stones. Or maybe not, it's Atari and it's fine. Or maybe yes. Oh, he does. Ah, otherwise yeah, it's, a, it's a snapback. Wow, it's such an ugly damage Sumari if he doesn't play anything. You can play J15. All right, we should teach him that. But wait a second, those stones in the middle. Aha. Uh -huh. So now, now it's time to do that trick. Uh, M7. Because you save your stones and you kill his group. So just turn, okay. take away the liberty. I mean the eye. It's more like removing that eye in the center. And you also connect your groups. All right. He wants to escape with that group now. Just block. Just extend on O12, o right? Earth, yeah. It's so cute, this sequence, a J15. We should try it. <laughs> okay, I think he noticed something. Take that stone. But then it was to go Atari on three stones and turn, so he still needs another move here. Which is Gote for him. So you have one mm -hmm. eye with this group right now, but you still have the core going on at the F11, and you can kill this uh, group in the center, or those six stones, uh, the K14, or you, Yo, you can Atari. So let me see if you play. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> ah, here you should uh, play something like 08 to make sure you stay connected and his top group is Perfect. dead. Yeah, my mouse was over the point. <laughs> your mouse, your <laughs> mouse knows click how it. to kill. <laughs> and, now, and now you can, <laughs> you can wedge, actually. Ah, that's cute. You can play Japan 15. Instead of Atari and turn, you should wedge directly. Because if you Atari, he will give you three stones. But like this, he has to give you more. Wait, J15. Wait. J15? J15? Right, yeah. Because if you Atari, you squeeze. You play K16, he takes, and then you play Atari again. And oh, if he connects, right, you take right. everything at H16. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six moves to read ahead. You should read that in a blink. When it's all forced. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can you, well, I'm you, working yeah, on you, that. I'm working you can on take that. Take ten seconds for that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you solve life and death problems, those kind of sequence should uh, be easy to to Nine, spot. Eight, seven, Pooh, now six, probably he realized. Five, Ouch! Four, three, I'm going to two, get hurt real one. bad. Yeah, he's using a biomi. He's got nine more to go. Yeah. Oh, Atari here, you should just connect because he's still in trouble with that group. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so he should connect maybe Q8 next. But then you can come back to the core in the center. Nine, eight, or you can play one seven, Atari if you like. Uh, Oh no, that, that I-15 you can play as a cotret. Oh, that's a pretty good move. Here you should just take the four stones. Tight. Oh, so just... Just Atari. At... Got it. 
because there's a little bit of Aji in the middle and you don't want to mm -hmm. uh, have your liber liberties removed in the center. He can play Atari and so on here. It's no big deal uh, on the left. Ah, this one, you can just block. It's fine. Okay, he, he made one eye, but you can still take the cost, so he has to come back. Ah, and he has a problem, another problem I've seen on the left side, where you can start from B, B11. Yeah, yep. But anyway, Nine, eight, seven, probably it's more interesting to kill six, the group five, on the right, starting four, Q9 and going three, down. Two, yeah, one. that's uh, slightly bigger mm -hmm. than the center. I don't think he realized the top group died already. <laughs> well, he escaped luckily. I completely miss his descent uh, at L1. Mm -hmm. Now he noticed something is wrong here. So, Atari and so I can just Atari that. Or if you if yeah. you just like to to have fun, you don't play that. You don't kill him, and you kill the right group. You play Q9 and go down. But now that you started, you should kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it clean. So how many groups we were chasing? Uh, the one on the right, I, I mean the one in the top, the, a that one in the top left a little bit, then this one on the lower left and middle, the other group in the middle. Mm -hmm. So he finally collapsed with one group, Nine, eight, but seven, more to come. Six, five, this guy has one, yeah, two, four, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight groups. Oh, too many. And that's uh, what, Gote? Yeah, Gote dead. Nice. So, I think I'll just play Q9. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and go down, huh? R9. Yep. Yeah, he'll just die more. Now here you need to pay attention a little bit. If you go here, he plays this one, you play this one. Just block. It looks ugly, but it's effective. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe he dies in the top right too. I would be really surprised. He can live with one move. <laughs> yeah, he can live in several ways, but never know. Very true. Well, for him, it's Nine, quite centered to play R10. Seven, six, mm. But he doesn't care. All right, don't let him live here. Um, you can just bamboo. O7. Or connect solid N8, as you like. Yeah, we'll do this. Actually, N8 would be better, so there are no cotrets. Because you want to fight the core. Ah, I see, yeah. Like this, he can push to the bamboo as a cotret. Mm -hmm. But it's probably less important. He's still in trouble. All right, just uh, connect R8. He's trying to target your top right group. But anyway, he dies faster. And now he'll play uh, R10. And then you kill everything. Oh, no. He plays this one. Destroy the eye. There is only one move here. And when he yep. plays R10, you kill the eye on the right side. R12. Cool. So, simply pull back or block. Block is good because you take away a liberty. It mm -hmm. might be important. For sure. Mm, pay attention. But you can block this one. It's just a bluff. He wants to play Atari, go down in center, but then it's a call. So S13. Not S11, that's a, that's the trick. But <laughs> right, okay. that one works, actually. <laughs> he'll play R11 or he'll go down, S10. But when he plays R11, you take, he goes down. You block S9, he takes the core, you connect, and that's it. Or you can connect mm -hmm. right away. He plays R11, you connect, and that's it. Anyway, you can let him feel good about this sequence, so uh, play S11. It almost feels like it works for white, but it doesn't. Just an illusion. Okay, take that stone. That's minus one point for nothing. And then block S9. Or S8, rather. 
Ah, S8, it's even better, and then we can go for the kill in the top right corner. Because <laughs> you have the clamp, uh, the attach. Good. Now this one you connect, so it's farce. <clears throat> They're asking if we're sandbagging. Yes, we're sandbagging, but it's a free game. It doesn't count towards his win-loss ratio, so... Right. It's it's a sandbag so for a, a, an important cause. <laughs> that's oh, right, that's oh right. Oh, to Atari here, huh? Well, yeah. you don't have too many liberties, so we should pay attention. Maybe get mm -hmm. back to the co in the center. Yeah. Take the co in the middle. Because you got to feel less liberties to capture that group compared to kill those stones on the right. Sure. He'll play Atari uh, L4, maybe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, no, he'll push to the bamboo. Four, three, maybe. Two, I know. One. He doesn't have too many options. His best option this game is to hit the resign button. <laughs> <laughs> Safest move. <laughs> All right. Teach him the uh, the squeeze K K sixteen. Oh. Or if you like, you can play Atari and then take three stones. But like this is nicer because next, wow, look at that! You can play Atari from age sixteen now if he doesn't play anything, and it, if he takes, it's a snapback. So he has to give you three or the other three. But he can capture in center, oh, wow. no, you know? Eight, seven, yeah, it's nice to play six, H16. Five, but let's four, see how it goes three, with the semi. Two. Uh huh. Shall we do that or it's too greedy? And then he pushes, you have one, two, three. Oh, you have many liberties. Yeah, let's play this for fun. H16. Okay. Okay, answers. <laughs> I'm curious. Because there is still a coin in the center and you win the semi on the right. That's a very cute move. This kind of situation appears in Go problems. It's, yeah, I've it's, never it's seen like, anything like, like this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he takes a stone, you take everything. So he needs to Nine, to give eight, those three in the middle. Seven, but when you take three six, stones, he's in Atari with the five, other three. So it's cute. Four, three, what two, a shape. One. That's really good for the audience too, I guess. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> well, I should run in like two or three minutes, but this game is too exciting. Okay. <laughs> so I asked my student, okay, just to wait a little bit. Maybe he's watching Nine, too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, he filled the co. Uh huh. That's brave. Okay. So I guess I'll just uh, take all those stones. No, no, no. This anyway, you take three or the other three. Let Let's win the semi in the middle. So play play the wedge, Michael ten. M ten, and then take Eight, a liberty. Seven, Start from M ten. Six. And then you should cut him. L nine. He takes, and then you take away outside liberties. You win the semi faster here. So. And now just play and actually take one of the cores. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, o okay. 10 and then fill it. Or that one, yeah, oh, it's fine. Sorry. Either way, it's the same. Because when he starts removing liberties, those are common liberties in the center, N9, N7, uh, N8, N7. Mm -hmm. And then he will end up in Atari. Separate from the right side, so you kill more. O1. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal, huh? All right, he connects. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Now, now uh, connect one of the co. S, S12, it's okay. Then take the liberty uh, N, uh, N8. So you still have plenty, huh? One, Can he leave after two, playing all those moves? 
Oh, you know what? Before before you continue the semi, you should play. Oh, he cannot leave. Huh? Tari pack. He has a tari. Uh huh. Uh, Q8. Q. Take away that. Oh, just connect. Yeah. You need to eventually. Okay. Then one liberty here, Atari, and he's doomed. Huh? You don't have too many liberties either. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, he's greedy to kill. So we let him escape there. <laughs> Play S9. That's the price you pay for for that neat move in the middle at H16. Uh -huh. Well, he can make life, but you take the core and you kill the other group. So just take the call, yeah. right? Now you have like three outside liberties, so you better win this call. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. It's fine. It's a call in steps. Very spectacular game. I didn't expect yeah. to thank you to play uh, so bloody. Nine. <laughs> Eight. Oh, you play that? Maybe you shouldn't answer that move. Hang on. Oh, oh but, should have but I actually, given up those? Actually, you have a quadrat here. Uh, play in the top. Japan, Japan one, J one. Because if you cut him, then he can play Atari. So, and if he answers, you have more quadrats there, which is good. No, it's fine. It's okay. You answer that because we still have quadrats in the. Uh, on the left side. But th this is like a coin steps he has to approach and then next Nine, it's Atari. Eight, so you really seven, have to pay attention. Six. Now you gotta take the call, 0 10. And then, then we have some local threats. First of all, connect here, connect solid. Mm -hmm. And then you should play Atari in the top corner, R1, Atari on the three stones. You gotta play the local threats. You have two two threats there. And after that we just kill him very elegant in the top because you remove the core. You'll see in a moment. Take the core, O ten. Mm -hmm. What he plays. He can't connect, he can play Atari, no other spectacular co threats. Well he can save himself here, but we don't let him. Because you have another threat <laughs> at R five. So he, he yep, has like two yep. big threats, but he has maybe one. Nine, eight, and then he will collapse seven, with everything. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha, huh, not too many BOM left. Four more times. <laughs> we might end up winning <laughs> on time. Wah, wah. No, not really. <laughs> Probably he'll find the resign button. In these last three, Biomi. Nine. Hmm. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Okay, you can actually answer this one. So take uh, I sixteen, take I fifteen, take those three stones, and then you have another local quadrat at R five. That's the last threat you really have. But you got everything in the middle. It's really spectacular. Oh, oh I... you had to play Atari. M misplay. Ah, oh, no. He will just play Atari and ouch. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Incredible. <laughs> you you had to play R5 and then take the other stone and that's it. Oh, I misclicked. No. Yeah. You... Well, I didn't misclick. I misread. Yeah, wait Shoot. a second. It's not finished. Okay, so he killed that. He came back to life with... All the dead groups. Nine, eight, but seven, just six, a second. Five, Capture uh, four, I seventeen. Three, two, one. Hi. Those three stones. Ah, uh, painful. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's a free game, and anyway, it was yeah, not yeah. really fair to be the guy. So, it's it's even yeah. better like this. But in fact, you had R five. He could take 
you have to play Atari, so he answers for sure. Yeah. And then, if he plays any other code rate, you just remove the group in the middle. And at the end, you cut him K2, so he dies with everything. That was like, I don't know, 150 points minus the move you played. Uh, now, the last big end game on the left side is B11. And that's pretty much it. We got to count. But you know, it says white leads by 64 points, but this lower right corner is still dead, and it doesn't count it. You were right about uh, losing a game when you're 50, 60 points ahead. It can happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I. Oh dear, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Bom, 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 bom. Well, push once. Uh, D13. Not much to do now. Mm-hmm. Wow, and that, that group in the middle was that the one on the right. You could give him back that thing on the bottom, just, you know. And now let's teach him one Tesuji. At least one Tesuji this game. Uh, A12. Now it doesn't matter okay. because he already captured the group, but play A12. Mm -hmm. If he cuts, then you go C12 and snap back. So now you can connect under. Actually, not losing that bad after all. So you can count this game. It was really spectacular. Okay, you don't have to answer <laughs> this. Uh, ah, you can save that guy. He will push in the middle. You should block in the center at E8. So he doesn't push and play Atari. The problem is there's nothing else to kill. Everything is solid at this stage. Right, so right. E8 block and then... You can save that guy in the top by playing J2 if he doesn't cut you. Oh, okay. Because he will take the large group, but that's it. And the funny thing about S5, you play S5, <laughs> you, you can still play J2. Whoa, how it looks. It was all yeah. black and now lights up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, connect. Okay, and then that's one point in center. Well, just Hane, uh, I-90. No, uh, block him. Don't let him push one point in center. Okay. It's hard to count how much you gave in that co-fight. Uh, connect here. He had one, two large groups, completely dead. That came back to life, and you yep, died with yep, a large yep. dragon. Yeah, the I dragon did. dragon strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Atari, and then I-19 and connect. Let's see. I... <clears throat> and J-19, and let's see. The moment of truth. We, we can do a really quick review of what would happen if you play R5. I'm really curious about the score difference. So just block. Mm -hmm. uh, don't connect here, play A16. Then he'll take the call. But there is another call in uh, the middle right at O10. So you take O10, he feels this one, you feel that one. Oh, 10. About 30 points this low, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just pass, huh? And count. How to lose a one game? This is a very <laughs> good example. <laughs> I think there's a, a pretty good Go book called um, Dramatic Moments of Go. And that's about blunders in tournaments and stuff like that. Th this game could make a good chapter in that book. Uh, just pass or count. Yeah, I requested counting. How do I remove dead stones? You just click on them. 
but I probably don't see the same board as you do when you're counting. They just show me the last move was uh, B9. It doesn't do an automatic counting or something. Yeah, it wouldn't let me click on the dead stones for some reason. Eight, oh. Seven, six, five, I don't know all these uh, four, little tricks three. and features here either. Okay, yeah. pass again or something like that. Yeah, I passed. Oh, he wants to re remove all the liberty. Uh, yeah, play another neutral point, K1. I think he wants to fill out the neutral points and then count. Uh, K1, okay. That's fine. Well, it was a massive kill on both sides, but quite entertaining. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> That's the good part of this game. Um, are there any more neutral points? Uh... Why I don't think so. Took those. No, no need. Yeah, just pass. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. <clears throat> Let me see something real quick. He still doesn't want to count. What? Yeah, I only have a few opportunities to pass. It says I can't pass anymore. Mm -hmm. You can just resign. So, anyway, you're losing by 30 points. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't have to answer here, huh? He's, those, are, those are six stones on the second line. They die anyway. Yeah, they're not passing, though. Oh, they don't let, they don't let you pass anymore. <laughs> Let me see the score. Yeah. You're losing by 25 and a half if you click estimate score. So, but I don't know why he plays here because even if he plays M19, you play O19. If he plays O19, you play M19. They don't let you hit the auto count button or something, a request count anymore. I, I requested counting, but I couldn't kill the dead stones on the bottom. Oh, but they are dead. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they don't dead. let you remove, you, uh, remove the dead stones, right? Anyway, ju just right, beside right. the game. No need to to count it, it's 25 points for white, so. When he, it's your turn, he resign and that's it. Okay, now they're dead. You didn't lose anything, so. Go go back to that R5, so. With those so arrows on to... the bottom, you have those arrows. I don't know if you can pass control here. But you have like analyze mode, I think. Yeah, there is a review mode. You, you, you just... can go back five by five, five moves with uh, the arrows. Those green arrows oh, yeah. just under the go board. Oh, oh, I passed it, right? Oh, I don't see what you're seeing. You can't see what I see? No, I see the the bow with all the stones on, on it. Oh, okay, let me click the review button then. Oh yeah, now probably it's better. Okay, go back. Yeah, yeah, see? No, I see. So go ahead a little bit, go forward. When you play this S5, instead of S5, you play R5. Go a few moves ahead, yeah. Now here, you play that Atari, very good. Now go one by one, undo a few moves. Ah, mm -hmm. right. So go ahead a bit, yeah, that move. So you play here, he must take, because he's in Atari. He has to play S5, then you capture O10, then he plays for example, Atari on three stones, a D8 or something like that. Or he, he tries to save the bottom. Let's say he plays O19. Because he doesn't have other threats. He plays O19. You don't care. Okay. You just remove the group in the middle. Now he leaves. He has to play another move at Q19 to make two eyes. Q19. Q19. One eye. The second. All huh? right. And then you cut him in the top, K2. And when you cut K2, he cannot cut you back. So you play K2, to, or you could connect back, but this is more artistic. Because you see, if he plays Atari at K1, he puts himself in Atari. If he plays Atari I1, he puts himself in Atari. So it's Damet Sumari from both directions. So even if he okay. saves this group on the bottom, he dies with the rest of the board. Now click Estimate Score. Where is it? On the bottom, lower right. 
Uh, but okay. you have the chat right. and everything. So you're leading by um, so 98 that's... and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so from winning by 100 points, you, you managed to lose by 25 in one move <laughs> because you missed Atari. It was only one intersection, one Liberty missing in the yep. on the right side. And already it's a 125 switch. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Nicely done. I oh. hope you learned something from this game. <laughs> And you, you can see oh, it and replay it in slow motion, see what happened. I will. I will. Uh, all the fights. Good one. So I really gotta yep. go. I let you play some yep. more. Uh, Fair and enough. And we will email about uh, when to meet next time. Because skiing, great. it's pretty much on the way for me from uh, December 20. And we have to see about the schedule. Maybe we can meet later in the day, like maybe 8 or 9 p.m. for me. It's Yeah, that's possible for sure. Right. I'll send an email. We'll fix something. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the streaming session and kill some people mm -hmm. now that you know how to do it. But don't, don't kill yep. yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me too. Have a... Yeah. Thank you so much for teaching me and being on stream. Have a good one. And um, yeah, have a good Perfect. one. Perfect. All the best. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Okay, uh, thank you for the follow on usable name. And um, if you guys want to support more content like this or support Co Cornell or take lessons from Cornell, uh, his rates are pretty reasonable. You can contact him with the information on the screen. And um, also, if you want to support more content like this for me, um, feel free to click the donate button. Um, I do pay Cornell for his time and his lessons, and I think they're really valuable for me personally, but they're also super valuable for the Go community that he's willing to share this with y'all. So, um, yeah, let's keep this content going. Um, small bag. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you can, it'd be great. If you don't feel like it, that's cool too. Um, but I really appreciate his help Someone with the Go stream and being play. willing to teach online and share his talents. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for the follow, Entrevix. That, that's a lesson. Here's the deal, though, with this. Like, he taught me a lot of ways of thinking about things. Like, I personally have instincts that have a certain direction. And then he showed me that maybe a better direction, a different direction would be better. And why? So I think that's... Um, that's going to be really helpful to me, and especially when I rewatch the video a couple times. Like his last lesson, I rewatched a couple times, and it was immensely helpful. And so rewatching this and seeing where my instincts are right or wrong is going to be super helpful as well. Um, towards the end, it got to be like definitely he was he was Sai telling me which moves to play, but um, again, it's you know what's my instinct, and then what's a what's a six on instinct, so. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was an exciting game. 